Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nano Kami the Two Princess Knights of Kyoto Part 2. Don't just oh, Hime, what? I can barely muster up any power at all. Chances are I'll get one strike out at best. Unleash my power and dash straight in. So long as I can connect, it doesn't matter if he counters. Huh? What does that mean? My sword's power, the ability to see a moment into the future, reveals something I never expected. I knew it. I I knew it. I, I knew it right after the right after that vision we saw. I knew she was probably gonna be in there because she said to forgive her. Why does she- why does she want Shinomi to kill her? Oh my gosh, so many plot twists! What is going on? What? Okay, we get to find out now. I crawl out of the demolished module, gently take Shichan by the arm, sit her down on a bench. Huh? This is after- I don't know what- what is this? Her beautiful eyes are currently clouded over. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. What? 
私や私と同じ土雲が脳波でコントロールできる拠点防衛用の兵器なの何を姫が土雲 Why did she want her to kill her? I choose to ignore her and instead proceed with my explanation. Hito no jidai ni natte, chow tei ni matsuro wa nu kuni tsukami no shison tachi wa, shidai ni chow tei ni heigo sarete itta. I'm so confuzzled. Onaji ningen doshi, onaji buki o motte tatakae ba, atto teki na kokuryoko o hokoru gawa ni wa kanawa nai de shou. でもね、国つかみの子孫の中にはあやかしとの間に子を作った人そのまた子孫たちがいた彼らは土雲と侮蔑され朝廷に教順することも庇護を受けることも許されなかった人間じゃないからそんな理由でしーちゃんの見てきた宮内機関の教科書とは違うでしょでもねこれが真実なの土雲はあやかしの血が入ってるがゆえに普通の人間とは比べ物にならないほど強かったそう、so, in the last game there wasn't really any point of that last scene it was just to trick us that that Tsuchi Mikado san was talking to to Tsuchigumo wait That way, their names are kind of similar. Suchi Mikado and, and Suchi Gumo. Aww. Oh, wow. I guess it's hard to process when it defies every truth you've been led to believe for so long. That's why I need to reveal something more personal to her. Wow. A name which stretches all the way back to the days of ancient Japan when Ayakashi still roamed the visible world. In what is now modern day Kyushu, Emperor Keiku ordered the eradication of all Tsuchigumo tribes which refused to resubmit themselves to the rule of those related to the Amatsukami. Amongst these tribes were the Mirukashi, who were centered around a figure known as Hime. The blood of their ancestors ran, through, ran thick within Hime's veins, allowing for supernatural power far beyond that of normal humans. This name has been passed from generation to generation ever since. It is reserved solely for the eldest daughter of each new generation, who serves as the tribe's chieftain. It is said that a mysterious haze enveloped the village when Emperor Keiku's troops attempted, attempted to attack it, which led to it being named Kasumi Village. Upon further attacks, it was revealed to be fog, which is generated by a sphere which was claimed alongside the villagers. The fog which appeared at Matsuno Kaisha were generated by this very same sphere from 20 centuries ago. What? Hime mi shiru ka te namae. Tarabi kaeru to miru ka shi hime ni naru no. Tanjun de shou? ミルカシは九州で朝廷に抗い、とうとう最後には歴史から消されたいちぞくでも実際はあるとき条件付きで生きることを許されたのそれは朝廷、宮内機関への絶対服従、そして汚れ仕事の押し付け。屈服させられた私の一族は長きにわたって朝廷そして後の宮内機関の暗部として飼われてきた特に宮内機関には
人以下の存在として扱いを受けた人間としての尊厳を取り上げられ彼らの家畜としてねそしてそれは現代でも続いているの私はね都部とは環境がまるで違う結界で隔絶された村でミルカシ一族の末裔の長の娘として生まれたのそこは過酷な環境で十分な食事がなくて外に働きに出ることも許されなくて時々宮内機関の人がわずかな食材を差し入れに来るのお母さんくらいの世代まではこっそり村を抜け出して髪を売り体を売りお金を稼いでいたらしいけどあー Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Things are getting hot and heavy with、uh, motions here, and wow. We'll find out more in the next episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!